Om Shanti. Good morning, everybody. So today is 5th September. As we all know that this day is being celebrated as Teacher's Day. So maybe we can start wishing our beloved teacher, Shiv Baba, happy Teacher's Day. We are so lucky that our day starts with his teachings. Each of the Mullis are nothing but Baba's lovely teaching to us, the children. And the Murli which we are reading since yesterday, our teacher is just congratulating for the tasks which we children or we students do. So quite interesting. Uh, again, today's Murli is just about congratulations. Uh, nothing too much depth, but yes, we'll definitely try identifying the jewels which Baba sometimes gives us between the line. Sometimes Baba's Murli seems to be very simple, but when we read it, read it again and again, we find out something for ourselves. And each of us find our own bit of experience from the Murli, our own bit of takeaways from Murli, which is very unique. And that is really the magic of Baba's Murli. Each one of you all might have experienced that many times. A specific sentence in Baba's Murli, we are able to resonate a lot with that. Maybe when somebody is speaking about that, we might feel, oh, this is a very normal statement. I don't know what, uh, like we sometimes feel that we don't know what that statement might have really been so impactful for that person. But for that person, specific statement might be a very much uh, <clears throat> very much heart touching so we don't know which statement of Baba's touch which children and that is how Baba's Murli can be practically applied in different situations so the more we churn the Murli's their own way, the more we are able to apply it to our own lives. It may not be relevant for others when we express them what it means to us, but definitely it means, it might mean a lot to us. And that is what it matters. So, yeah, I think let's start reading the Murli. We'll continue the Murli, what we started yesterday. And then later on, you can share your insights. So it was the 6th of October, 1981. Morley title was Congratulations for the Service of the Sons of Knowledge, the Children of the Father, the Sons of Knowledge. So we saw how Baba is the light of the world saw the stars of his eyes and he was praising us like anything in the first paragraph and we also understood that it was a good recognition that Brahma Kumar is caught in the United Nations and Baba congratulated he told us what songs we sing and what song he sings he also tells <clears throat> that each children has their own songs, own story. Then Baba Dada met Jayanti Didi, especially telling her that Baba is into the garden and he's seeing all the beautiful flowers. Then Baba started meeting each country. So, 
and again read this London bit. So each paragraph speaks about each country and what speciality the children of that country had. Similar to what Baba does in the Fegmurli for each of the states. Whenever there is a, for example, it's if it's just turn of Maharashtra state or Delhi state. So what Baba says to that state. So the, similarly, Baba is meeting each country in this Murli. So let's see what Baba has identified. First one, London is the foundation of service abroad. And so which lamb Baba does Baba Dada ignite in return for the service that you have done over 10 years? Bab Dada ignites the lamp of the specialities of the special children everywhere, abroad, who specially remain engaged in service day and night. Bab Dada fills you with the oil of virtues and ignites the lamp of the specialities of you special souls. Congratulations. Congratulations for the service you did. Sing this song to those from Hong Kong. So Bhaktada has moved on to Hong Kong. It has been 10 years for them too. Congratulations to you both for 10 years. The specially loved children in London in the form of master sons of knowledge are spreading rays of zeal and enthusiasm for service everywhere very well so father the son of knowledge is congratulating you master sons of knowledge those from australia so Bhakti has moved to australia now those from australia claim their fortune through their Renunciation. Tiag. You have demonstrated your fortune very well through your renunciation. Bab Dada congratulates you children who are the instruments for service in Australia for claiming the certificate of being constant, unshakable and immovable. In the same way, Bhabrada is also congratulating those from Nairobi for their speciality. What speciality is that? You are very good at having deep love for Baba and his service. You don't see the circumstances, but you look at the service that has to be done. You have given very good proof of your speciality of all being united in service. To have love for service means to have love for Bhaktata. You have shown wonders of how to finish everything and how to merge everything. This is why Bab Dada calls you children who have this speciality, Mahavir children. <clears throat> so earlier Bab Dada mentioned for Australia that the renunciation quality that is making them claim their fortune. Further, he moves on to them being constant, unshakable, immovable. And then he goes to Nairobi. So again, if you all see all these qualities, these are not very Rocket science. I, I mean, these are very simple qualities. But you know, Bab Dada 
recognizes them as we use them for service or as we use them towards our self effort so small small qualities if we try to demonstrate i think this leads to a good deal of fortune for all of us yeah but then bab the highlights this words like constant unshakable immovable bab the says that you don't see circumstances but you look at the services that has been done good wonders of how to finish everything and how to merge everything this is something interesting how to finish everything and how to merge this is where bapta calls you children have this specialty of mahavir children then bapta the moves on to america america is no less america has got hold of a mic who can spread loud sound very far you have found an easy and good way of doing service all the centers in america are very successful in serving vips it is not difficult to serve the vips abroad now is it now baba's name is glorified in london too this year the foreign lands have received the blessings of serving special souls for how many years did you find it difficult do you realize how easy it is it has now become all the main places abroad have now been mentioned however there are very good waves of service everywhere else also jana germany mauritius each place has its own speciality they have prepared special souls from special programs this is very good zilian enthusiasm everywhere therefore note down all their names so nice to see that babda is remembering all the countries like he is taking names of even small countries of course now they are very big ones but at that time probably even if there were 15 20 souls because that is what initially each country would have so nice that baba is recognizing them there is a beauty of you know being pioneer or instrument in starting anything that that doesn't get annihilated so now baba is meeting dadi dadi ji and lachu came lachu ben came back from their tour abroad to dadi so we might know that uh, those days dadi is especially dadi janki ji as i mentioned listed as well she was staying at london and uh, they would just come for baba's milan and it was not very easy for them to come each time just like we saw them in the recent years so they used to go there and come uh, i don't know how many times a year but yeah whenever they used to come they used to give uh, the update on the tour the chudadi was also very popular in yagya she left her body in i think uh, august 20 10 around 14 years back so baba is meant ask you talking to them did you experience balance and blessings was your journey okay to let you ben you too have come back from touring abroad you also did tapasya did you not you are lucky that 
you have remained in elevated company since your childhood you have stayed very close to baba not everyone has this fortune what will you do having returned from abroad did you give lectures anywhere now practice this also practice giving classes you have heard a lot directly you have also heard secrets that you have to keep hidden under your nails therefore you have to give a return of that acha so now see how the teacher is increased so lachu ben was not uh, like a stage stage speaker or giving classes but she was of course with baba parma baba very close because uh, uh, she had some unique uh, yagya services at the time of sakar brahma baba she in fact was uh, one of the uh, first souls who got surrendered right in 1937 right from karachi she was with baba and i i'm not sure what secret baba is mentioning here in this paragraph because of course that is a secret <laughs> which never got revealed at least to me so but yeah what baba is telling her because that you know as we listen others speaking so baba told her give a good piece of advice that she should also practice giving class so baba tells wherever you serviceable children go you definitely have to give some proof of the service you do <clears throat> one good thing i liked in the previous paragraph that even if you know, how baba is seeing things other things as well not just giving lectures so abdada mentioned that even she told uh just searching for that statement uh, Ah, huh. here on the fifth, fifth statement from top, you also did tapasya, did you not? You too have come back from touring, so even like you know, one doing tapasya for the success of service or for or for whatever, because as we do those things, the vibrations become elevated of those specific places. So even you know that is a kind of service which Papa does highlight. Anyway, so Babla the mentions wherever you serviceable children go, you definitely have to give some proof of the service you do. Hmm? So this is a very nice statement because while reading this statement, then I went above purposely. So it's not necessary that we might give Baba's gyan only to everyone because that is not possible. But wherever we go and when we are saying wherever it could be anything from probably marketplace at office maybe we are going for a tour picnic trip anywhere so some proof of the service we should do maybe if not vacha it could be mansa it could be karmana by thoughts or by deeds or anything so one thing i always remember like whenever i go out so even if we don't get chance to give baba's message but if we have a good wishes because wherever brahmins go there are vibrations the purity that makes a difference in that environment that is also a service so we having that in mind while we are out there You know anything? For example, even if I am traveling from a local, so having that uh, remembrance that I am over here and I am spreading rays of positivity, hope, 
to all the souls around. So, you know, and if that can bring any change in anybody's state of mind, that can become a proof of service. So very subtle statement, but yeah, I can think more on this and share during churnings. So wherever you serviceable children go, you definitely have to give some proof of the service you do. You have given this proof, have you not? To be serviceable means that you are constantly doing service. Service and even more service. You're looking at Anything is for service. Your speaking is for service. Your moving around and doing anything is for service. Hmm? Deep statements. Baba mentions to be serviceable means that you are constantly doing service. Service and even more service. You are looking at anything is for service. So any billboards, any signboards we see, there's so many things when we, we see while going. So how can we attach that to service? Your speaking is for service. You're moving around and doing anything is for service. You have the three images of see no evil, speak no Evil, etc. Have you have those who say yes? They say no to all three things for service. Whereas here, you say yes for all three things: seeing, speaking, hearing. This is what is meant as being serviceable. And so, there is a, that slogan, right? I think, Burana Dekho, Burana Suno, Gandhi Ji Ke, that three bandars. So, Baba is mentioning, there, everywhere, it's still no. But you are telling yes, because probably we are doing service. Whatever kind of things we hear, speak or think. So, what is the image of someone who is serviceable? You enjoy doing service very much. Did you not? You experience that. When every place is filled with specialities, service everywhere will be complete. This is a very interesting statement. Bab Dada is mentioned when Every place is filled with specialities. Service everywhere will be complete. This is why it is good for you to have these experiences. Those who live on the banks of the river Jamuna have also come. So now Baba is uh, coming back to the Indian souls as well. Just like during any Murli for India, Baba meets double foreign is in a paragraph. So here Baba Dada is meeting Indians also because, of course, while Baba comes in Bharat, there will be definitely some souls from Bharat. So Baba takes so much care that nobody should be left feeling that we are left apart. So Baba is meeting the group of Delhi souls. So Baba is telling to them, those, sorry, those who are living in the bank of River Jamuna have also come. A group of from Delhi, those from Karnataka, Natak that means play. Those who perform plays from Karnataka on the banks of the River Jamuna have also come. Bombay is also included as a bonus in this. It is good that there are the banks of river Jamuna and that there is also a garden in the middle of the Jamuna. Therefore, Baab Tata is meeting all of you in the middle of that. Even so, 
the foundation of service is Delhi. You all set foot on the field of service in Delhi. The majority of the Maharatis have set foot in Delhi for service. Acha. Bab Dada will tell you later what Delhi has to do. Today, Bab Dada is just talking to you in the gardens. To those, so Bab Dada is coming to the Yat Pyar, and after this, we'll end the Murli for today. To those who observe the play within the play. Hmm, interesting. To those who observe the play within the play, to those who experience the games, Khel, and the fairs, Mela, to those who constantly sing the Father's praise and at the same time also makes themselves master embodiments of virtues equal to the Father, to those who constantly have positive thoughts for the world to world benefactors who constantly benefit from benefit the world to each elevated souls Bab Dada's love, remembrance, and namaste. So we'll read the next part of the Muli tomorrow after the talking to Dadijis and others. Let's pause here for a minute and we can reflect on what we could capture from today's Muli. Om Shanti. You can start sharing. Om Shanti, Prafal Bhai. Happy Teacher's Day. You know... Into all of you. Yeah. You know, when we took the knowledge, especially for me personally, it was never the role of a teacher. It was God as a father. I was looking for a proper father as the, a universal father. And it was that relationship actually which uh, really pulled me the father and then of course later came the other relationships but if you see the teacher just like you know I want 40 years being in low kick job as a teacher I know what is the role of the teacher who molds a child like clay and for us the students were our life something given to us by God to mold and give. It, it's, a, it's a very beautiful relationship, a teacher and a student. But in this hustle bustle of being a logic teacher, where even Baba says, if you study barrister, you'll become a barrister. But here he is not teaching us barristership or anything. He's, he comes down to give the true Gita knowledge. And today we are respecting our teachers 
but we are who who influence us but we have forgotten this divine teacher we have forgotten this person who has come here with a particular purpose we have forgotten him and how do you commemorate him it's i know it's not part of the mudli but when you spoke of teachers day i really found he shares wisdom he makes us full of capabilities and he can uh, he makes our fortune if you see only three things he gives us is sharing wisdom he fills us what qualities and then he tells us our fortune he guides us of course but everything see when if he's a father he's a father of all souls if he's a satguru he has come to liberate all souls but i think when teacher it is ideally only for us i don't know i may be wrong please correct me because i find the teacher relationship because i accept his versions i am the part of his divine classroom and i see him in him an ideal teacher and nobody can be a better teacher in, than him and it is that teachings which is really going to change my fortune from what i was because he guides us without any judgment he gives us wisdom without any expectations and he loves us also a teacher's love is also important he gives condition uh, like a beacon of light and all so i think his presence that god is there that itself see even when you're sitting in an examination hall when sometimes whatever teachings you forget it's that wisdom or the hand of god which comes and reminds me what it is but we have neglected him so teachers day i think i would like to remind everyone even if it is my students it's not just the presence of a teacher but the eternal presence of god as a guide in this divine classroom so much more can be said but i am very proud because this relationship is only for me it's not for the whole world i don't know i feel like that in the teacher to me because i have accepted him as a teacher i take his version so i follow his version and i check up with him he corrects me he gives me marks he is the one who does a, uh, the grades the scholarship everything he gives me so i think it's a unique relationship which i just wanted to share om shanti kul bhai so thanks for that anyone else would like to add of course you can even add about teacher stay as you have been mentioned because today's murli is of course the congratulations you can add from there as well but yeah it's open forum om bhai go ahead om shanti uh, praful bhai and happy teachers day to every member of the divine family our teacher is the supreme and unlimited he is the light of the world and uh, we are so fortunate to have the almighty authority as our supreme teacher and also the nimit brothers and sisters brahmin children who are also playing the role of a teacher a master teacher and they are the instruments to spread the knowledge you know and enabling reading and churning of murlis so happy teachers day to you and your entire team who are you know the instruments for such beautiful sessions abit whether it's english or hindi murli clubs and all around the world so with that and i would like to just share one reflection that uh, the specialty of uh, finishing and uh, finishing everything and merging everything that uh, technique which our supreme teacher has uh, elaborated in so many ways because circumstances do come and this is the uh, old world and you know we are living in the old world now with the intellect we are in the new world but then uh, the circumstances definitely we are surrounded by the circumstances so what is the key is to have deep love for baba and service and and uh, the speciality which baba described about nairobi 
is uh, to finish everything and how to merge everything. Because, you know, is, is it to be situated in the point form, the seat form where everything merges, the entire world merges into the into the seed stage and uh, you're so powerful. Such techniques only the Supreme Teacher can teach us and then Baba goes on to describe uh, the children, such children as Mahavi children. So that was quite intoxicating and I guess take away for me, Om Shant. Any other reflections? Oh, uh, brother, can you uh, share something about Lachu Dadi? Because I even I, as I was there from 90s, whenever she used to take the bog up there, and you know, I always used to stand there over there. She saying, Acha, oh, uh, gayi hun, oh, lana. sometimes once or twice. But you know, I remember her. She was the one, if you see the old photographs of hers in the History Hall, uh, the way he sits in front of Brahma Baba and serving him the food. and it, It's something like a mother for, to Brahma Baba. She used to serve him food. And then she was called as the whistle queen. I don't have something, you know, whistling people to say that the class has come. I remember a few stories of Latu Dadi when the Red Bai used to share and all. Uh, but uh, today when I saw for the first time, Baba telling her, you can go and give lectures. It was something very unique, like telling Boli Dadi. So because Lachya Dadi almost had a kind, I have never heard her giving lectures or anything. But when she's gone with Didi, when Baba telling her that to give lectures, you can also give lectures. So it's, uh, you know, uh, there again, it's the teacher. The teacher finds even the person who comes and serves tea has a message to give. Something very like if suppose you can share because uh, something about Lachu Dadi, if you know, as of because uh, one thing which Ombai was talking about, teacher, I was think I think Bab Dada is the only one extempore teacher to give such thing. Extempore, he sits there, he has never read any scriptures. A teacher is, does a beard, he does a med, he does everything, she reads encyclopedia, but this. Brahma Baba is ex tempo, no teaching, nothing. That was one point I wanted to add. But if you could share something about Lachu Dadi more, I, I have known her like that, being close to her. But the secrets, yes, she has to know the secrets when she's so close to her. If yeah. you know, if you can, there, there are so many other things. Uh, I don't know, it's uh, just gone off my thing. Some, some, once or twice, she used to talk to these uh, double foreigners when they used to pull her and ask. I remember something. But she used to ask about food. Or she used to ask about Rehen Sehen and all. I don't remember much. If you could share that. No, in fact, uh, even I don't know much. All that I know about her is that uh, maybe others in the group, if they know, they can share. But like she used to always prepare for the bhog uh, every Thursday's Madhuban. And, uh, yeah, because when I was very active in in the knowledge after 2009, I couldn't even get a chance to see her. Like, she left in 2010, her body. And uh, 
one thing i know because because uh, she never was bedridden like you know because like at the last days of her this thing and uh, the other thing you are right she never might have given any lectures like the other maharatis do but yeah baba always keeps on encouraging there are lots of thing baba would encourage even jagdish bhai or, or others not necessarily they might have done but yeah as a teacher baba is always far sighted and once i had a uh, listen from uh, uh, this person like uh, the um, ramesh bhai that and baba is telling a specific child so of course he is telling for that soul but then others can also capture that so sometimes hota hai na ki sunana kisi ko rehta hai but koi nimit banta hai sunne ke liye so you know that could be a message for all of us or for others also but yeah baba definitely told that to her but yeah i don't really know much about her lachudati if anybody in the group knows you can add on but uh, the other thing which you know i would was just reflecting the other day uh, all these you know dadis whom we see uh, made bila chudadi or anyone they were not really you know, that too much educated most of them are not even 10th pass including our own dadi janki ji and others but you know how the supreme teacher you know, brahma baba as well as shri baba nurturing them and they having this aspiration of in, of imbibing whatever baba tells to them you know that uh, uh consistency or that love or that dedication towards knowledge really moved them ahead so sometimes i really feel that you know even whenever even if i see some of the sender sisters maybe they might not be educated but while talking papa really touches them or out of their churning maybe they share some very deep insights deep points so that is where then i you know really realized that there is no need for us or at least for me to judge anybody based on their position qualities or whatever so generally that we do in the logic world and it's okay in the logic world but in baba's thing in baba's world you know there is no prerequisite as long as one is consistent and has love for baba and try to follow shrimat automatically the you know the intellect gets open wide open and one is able to reach from anywhere to anywhere so there are so many examples even brothers like you know i was used to hear personal anubhavs of suraj bhai raju bhai so people who are even there at present they were very very common people like they not knowing much and but just by churning on the knowledge and doing things uh, they are so much well known today why making this point is because sometimes when we see these maharatis we feel and we start comparison because most of us might come into this mode of comparison and we feel that oh my these are so you know elevated and maharatis and maybe we are not will take so many years for us or maybe we are not that worthy but uh, that is not the case probably all of us in this calls are much more uh, you know have resources or maybe have our backgrounds more stronger probably when it comes to understanding things and like that it is just that we have to do things and once we do this probably they have started this a journey at the beginning for us or maybe have done more pushart but 
you know that really doesn't limits us uh from becoming like them because baba's gyan is same for everybody and opportunity is equal for all of us so it is just that yeah how much time and dedication we give for this knowledge how much we churn how much we imbibe what baba says it will move us ahead so i shared this out of context but yeah i just thought uh, since went with the flow i remember the there was something they used to say baba ke ang sang rahi thi wo thi lachu dadi there was a brother in cancer over but like so that's what i think the secret is she has lived ang and sang so close to baba so definitely you would have leaked out some secrets to her that's okay baba doesn't want it to get revealed that's okay no need i think to go into that okay any any other last point before we close any of your special experience with baba as a teacher so let us reflect for a minute and today we would call out our teacher and as rightly mentioned baba may be father for everybody he may be liberating everybody as a guru but teacher not everybody is that lucky as we are so only a few are the ones who are having this teacher and student relationship with the god and someone perfect teaching us and we teach learning from him at to you know at the point of time which is 5 am in the morning i'm not really sure other than gurukuls anybody would be really teaching so early in the morning so hats off to that teacher and even hats off to all of us because we have been connecting giving our time every day so there is no harm in taking acknowledgement for that as well so thanks to both our good father all our group members because each of us inspire each other had we be also not coming you know if a classroom is empty even the teacher may not like or if there are fewer students in the class teacher may feel are aaj aaye nahi jada so he may not get that uh, urge of teaching or going beyond what he generally does so baba also sometimes tells jab bacche bhare bhare rehte to he he loves those things so each of us are also contributing by attending the class daily maybe i am not in this group but others at least who i have always see so i think uh, congratulations to all of you all as well for keeping this journey of our learning even maybe from this small zoom session whatever we do each day and keeping this journey on so congratulations to each one of you all and yes we'll keep this journey on this today is not the last day but yeah we all will keep on meeting more frequently maybe you all meet daily so just thought to share this final words from my side om shanti om shanti uh, prabhul bhai ji can i share one reflection uh, which you just asked experience with the teacher uh, the prem teacher uh, in the locking mm-hmm. i was uh, pursuing my doctorate from it delhi uh, that time uh, and i was also in service i'm uh, serving in the defense and also uh, as a part time doing this uh, doctorate pursuing this degree and i had a lot of uh, self doubts whether i'll be able to uh, do uh, such a world class 
research which would be of utility to the mankind and whether it will get published and whether the world will recognize or not so such kind of you know it's normal to have such uh, self doubts when when uh, uh, you do a lot of work and devote you a lot of time uh, and sometimes it was like 24 by 7 and uh, then so uh, these thoughts used to pop up at when the no paper was published that time so the next day uh, in the murli's uh, baba the supreme teacher answers these uh, uh, and it gives a direct answers that you know it so happened that uh, the next day murli baba said that your degree is all you can see your degree in hand, in your hand it was literally this words and i was amazed to see ki how you know baba uh answers uh, and uh, you know it really uh, cleared all the self doubts and i was full of zeal and uh, vigor to again restart and you know see where i was getting stuck in the formulation of the problem and uh, analysis and uh, and uh, really it worked and gave, gave me new energy and uh, the next a few days was like uh, my paper uh, i got a positive confirmation that we are pleased to publish your paper and uh, so this is a one experience i'm sharing there's so many experiences where baba he is incorporeal but he is actually he is he is uh, his being his chetan he is very much there with you and he he listens to you every thought deep inside and he is very much connected with each with each one of each one of the students only thing we should just have full faith in in him and he is the intellect of all the intellectuals and so i have, i bow down to him i really uh, admire and how he has helped his great teacher you know in subtle manner he conveys profound uh, secrets in a very easy manner is a very simple yet very profound thank you supreme teacher and that's the experience i wanted to reflect upon and then as a result i got within 3 years i got the uh, degree awarded and the research got translated into the prototypes which are uh, which will be very useful for making the world pollution free so thank you supreme teacher om shanti Om Shanti, thank you for that sharing. Okay, so let us take this last minute and just have a heart-to-heart conversation with Supreme Teacher. Thanking him for all that he has done. And as a student, what is it that today I would like to tell my supreme teacher about my studies any change or any specific thing which i would like to do from today onwards which i would like to share to my teacher We come back and get seated on the center of our forehead and ready for a beautiful day. Om Shanti, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>